Thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. I literally think this scene looks so cute. Oh, hello guys, welcome to another studio vlog. So if you watched last week's studio vlog when we were prepping for the Christmas shop update, you will know that I'm actually continuing the vlog from last time. It's currently half nine in the morning. I've been in since around 7, 7.30 a.m. taking photos of all the new products. But today I want to actually get the shop update ready. So we're going live at 5 p.m. I still need to edit all the photos and everything. I normally do that on Lightroom. But I've had an exciting package. So last minute, it, I decided if you watch my last vlog you will know what I've already decided but I'm gonna bring out some Christmas tote bags I actually am not getting the prints for the second design that I've done until tomorrow but I thought it would be good because I've got one of the first packages here it would be good to press them and go out somewhere and take some photos out somewhere like a coffee shop or something so it kind of is like more in person and you can see the details also because the design isn't coming tomorrow and we're launching today I might actually take a blank tote bag which is what I've done before and iron it and then superimpose my design on it let's get to work and unbox the roll and see what the new Christmas designs have turned out like fingers crossed have worked out okay because I've took a risk again and I'm probably going to be launching it before I see the second design but hopefully fingers crossed it's everything will be good so also I've got no side space whatsoever because of this launch I can't wait to give it a good tidy and get ready for Christmas shop updates are always super stressful there's always something that goes wrong if you've seen last week you will have seen that we did indeed get a batch of greeting cards all um, messed up so the old ones are there I'm going to use them for my Christmas presents they should be arriving tomorrow fingers crossed them ones are okay because I've just took photos of these ones and they're going to be live in the store for launch so fingers crossed sometimes you just have to wing it and adapt and overcome I'm literally running out of any desk space Ugh. hopefully these should turn out fine because I use a local company called Inkfuse DTF for my transfers I will leave a link in the description and he is great at getting things Ooh, it's on like a map paper now I wonder if they've changed it oh I can already see the rules oh I also got some new logos so I don't know if I told you guys but I was having a real issue with my branding pressing on the DTF transfers I was having an issue with my logo oh, the print looks amazing oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh right I've got no space to cut anything Fine. Oh my goodness! Oh, Dean, these are gonna look so cute. Uh oh, I messed up a print here. Damn it! Is that gonna be like that on all of them? I hope not. I put that. I put that logo too close to my print. This is gonna be the tote bag print. But look at the quality on that with ginger and spice in this cozy Christmas scene. I can't wait to press that. He now prints it on like this mat material which looks really really nice let me show you what i mean about the logos so originally i had these really fine detail logos and we were having an issue pressing them they were peeling off so this is what the other ones used to look like as you can see the details are super super fine it has a logo then it has a little cloud and star on it and when we're peeling it sometimes the star wouldn't press or the like catnip wouldn't press so i have actually changed it to like this logo here uh, like my flower daisy logo and it's more chunky and this should just press absolutely fine um so yeah it's gonna have that so there's a bit of branding hopefully that will print a little better than this little one did is this the tote bag
Ta da! How cool does that look? I love it! So cute, I just need to get some photos of it. The print quality is amazing. Ta da! Cozy Christmas. I did do the logo on the inside of the bag here and it pressed way better. It didn't have all the lines. But the thing is, you can kind of see through it on the back. So I was thinking, because the back is blank, I was thinking it might actually be good to put the, the flower logo on the back of the bag, either at the bottom or at the top for a bit of branding, rather than the inside. Because I was thinking like clothing, like t-shirts or jumpers, you know, when you have it on the neckline. That's kind of the thing I was thinking with that but I actually think it would look better on the outside of the bag let me know in the comments below if you agree but this is going to be my tote bag for Christmas I love how big and chunky and wide gusseted so I get gusseted tote bags um, so they are nice and big and we've been getting some really great reviews so thank you to all of those who purchased the autumn bags um, and left reviews on our Etsy store it really does mean the world and people are loving them so I'm super happy I just need to take a photo of this I'm gonna press a blank one and take some photos and then I'm gonna sit down at my laptop and I'm gonna edit away although I may very last minute add some Christmas mugs to the store but I'm not exactly sure <laughs> gosh are you okay we got the new thank you cards in for the christmas period and i've just finished rounding them and oh well i haven't there's all them around but i've finished rounding this wad which we'll do for the product launch but look how cute they are oh my goodness it's so cute i've also got this as an art print on my store and i can't wait to put it up over there because i've still got my autumn girl one uh, but look how cute it is. This is my favourite thank you card. The border was definitely a good idea. What do you think? So this will be placed in every order over the Christmas period and also collectible. Mike's been showing me his uh, collection that he has been collecting over time, but ta-da! I also got these ones on slightly thicker paper this time. I think this is 400 GSM instead of, I think it's normally 300 that I get. So they've got a really nice sturdy thick feel to them. I just thought I'd experiment and see what it looks like. So I'm going to give them to Mike. Oh my goodness, I am super excited because I've just received my Vlogmas intro for the festive period. So I actually hired an animator over on Fiverr. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring today's studio vlog. So I have actually used Fiverr multiple times in my business as a business owner. I actually used them for the first time way back in like 2018, I think it was, for my small business, Baby Blue, when I wanted help with my social media marketing and managing. I've also used Fiverr multiple times across different channels, like my personal channel and here on Catnip, for intros. Not only do they have YouTube intros, they also have services from graphics design, digital marketing, writing translation, video animation, music and audio, programming tech, business lifestyle, and so much more. There is literally something for every business owner out there. I don't actually have the time to do like motion graphics for introductions. I really want to use like cool intros for my YouTube videos. So I actually hired multiple different freelancers across Fiverr for things like my personal channel and over here on Catnip. But the festive period is coming up and you guys know I love to take part in Vlogmas. And last year I actually tried to make my very own animated Vlogmas and it was a very simple introduction. This time I've 
actually hired an animator that I had used before when I teamed up with Fiverr in a previous video and I absolutely loved the results. I went back to this freelancer and literally gave them complete creative freedom. I sent them the image of Gingy and Spice and said just get creative with it. I just want like a cute Christmassy intro. I also had a very very tight time frame in which to do it and oh boy they delivered this so quickly. I love how responsive freelancers are on Fiverr. It's really really handy as a business owner to have these communications be fast and effective and oftentimes they offer like a quick turnaround and this freelancer totally blew me away. He got it around so so fast and not only that did some back research on my most recent characters and added them in as a little surprise. So so adorable. There was a few tweaks that I wanted to make so I actually sent him another file across and in less than 24 hours he delivered the final result which I think considering this has been a really really quick turnaround illustrated every single section he's also put some small subtle cute animations in there added some music oh I'm just so so happy with how it turned out and I can finally use this going forward in my vlogs for the festive period. A huge huge thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to check it out they're actually offering you guys 10% off using my code so I'll leave the link in the description and my code for you guys to check out. A huge huge thank you again to Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. Good morning guys so we did our product launch and the thank you cards arrived that was actually a separate day. It is now actually Wednesday and I'm freaking out a little bit because if you watch my last vlog about the shop update you will have noticed that the greeting cards didn't turn out right they laminated the inside of the card rather than the outside and we're waiting for them to arrive and they still haven't arrived so I'm gonna have to chase up the company hopefully fingers crossed they'll come today Dean is currently making a batch of gift tags and I just want to say a huge huge thank you to all of those who did support this shop launch can't believe the overwhelming response we also launched a second sale because we're not taking part in like Black Friday or anything but we launched a second sale. A huge, huge thank you for all your love and support this year. It really really does mean the world. Today I actually want to get this office sorted out because there's just stuff all over the place. It's an absolute mess. I mean just look at this. This is the aftermath of a product launch. We've just got stuff kind of dumped all over. Hi Mike. Hello. We've just got kind of stuff dumped all over. We've got a random flower in the middle of the floor. My heater is having a sad time over here. There's bits of paper it's just it's so chaotic everywhere but Mike's also printed me out a cozy Christmas actually this is uh, seconds it's got a tiny blob here but an A3 cozy Christmas art print to put on the wall <laughs> going to use my cute little index tabs these are what I use uh, for organizing all of my stickers and the little cute index tabs I should have done little Christmas ones for all my Christmas products actually I didn't think of that but these look so cute we've actually sold out of these a few times we've got a few different variations in the store but this little plant pot guy is my favorite the little mixed plant pots cute Ta-da! I've ruined my favourite brown pen. Oh man. Lit it all by putting the lid on. God damn it. Oops, I haven't made them tall enough. Because I put these away without them being sealed because it takes up too much space. If I seal them at the top here, it takes up loads and loads of space because it creates like this air like pocket. So I don't seal them. But now I've not made my little index tabs big enough, look. It goes below. That's better. Cut them more to size now.
moment of truth. The greeting cards have arrived. Fingers crossed. Imagine if these were wrong. <gasps> what would we do? Why does it look like it's snowing outside? Okay, I am really, really hoping there is nothing wrong with these greeting cards. <sighs> Fingers crossed for me that they're gonna be okay. Imagine if there weren't even the greeting cards. Okay, the greeting cards, thank goodness. Oh, it's all bent, that one. Please let the lamination be on the right side. Oh, thank gosh, yay. I might be able to flatten these out, actually. It's not too bad. Oh, thank goodness for that. Yay. So we didn't get the gingy one because that was printed fine. But this is printed perfectly. And the print quality looks really nice. Oh, that could have been a disaster. It's a little down here. We got pudding, that's the inside, that's the back. Beautiful soft velvet lamination on it, this matte lamination, which I just think works with my illustrations because they're like cute and soft and cuddly and squishy. And I feel like the velvet soft lamination kind of like works with the illustration. Is peppermint on the front. Then we've got her logo on the back, that's inside. I've actually put peppermint peeking out just over the top there. And last but not least, we have Marshy. So we need to fold all these properly, but I'm actually gonna be using these uh, cards in my Christmas presents this year as well. And that's the inside. Oh man, that was so stressful. Now let's get back to work on tidying. Actually, I've been taking a break and I've actually edited a Florida vlog and uploaded it, but now let's get back to tidying. Six foot that I normally have, isn't it? It's actually pretty lit, but I need batteries, so I'm gonna put this on now. Meet under the mistletoe while Santa's busy saying ho ho ho. We're feeling jolly, eating Christmas cake, and then we go skating on the frozen lake, saying hi to every friendly face, and later we warm up by the fire. Oh, it's a little small. Okay, it's not like my last big massive six foot Christmas tree that we used to have. We used to have this big white one in the studio. I do miss that one. I was thinking of like places I could put it and I can't really think of anywhere without jamming it in. So I might take that white Christmas tree home. I have got another pink one and I'm gonna finish putting some more Christmas decks up around the studio in the next vlog probably because I've still got a tub and I've still got, look, I've just moved it from that desk to that desk. So the room still isn't fully tidy but it's a little bit more maneuverable around here anyway i think i am going to end this vlog here a huge huge thank you again to fiverr for sponsoring today's video if you guys want to check out all the services that are open to you and 10 percent off don't forget to head to this url and use my code i'll leave all the details in the description as well and don't forget to like and comment if you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one all right then thanks so much for watching I love you. <laughs> Goodbye.